So the first thing we need to do, 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 do is we need to start building the frame. Schooner. Schooner. Double click. All right. So we got our frame going now. Uh, and the thatch, honestly, guys, it's this crisscross checkered pattern that I think would make me go absolutely insane. So that's really all I'm going to work on. ghost ship nightmare what is going on gaming nerds welcome back to midnight gaming with mr nightmare thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out hopefully you guys are having an amazing day i'm having a pretty decent day it is midnight yet again and we are on atlas and i have been doing some work yes ladies and gentlemen as you can see if i k out I've got myself a little lantern. I'm pretty excited about this little thing. As you can see, there it is right there. You can turn it on, you can turn it off. You can paint it different colors so it glows different colors like blue, white, yellow. I'm not gonna go through all the colors. A whole bunch of different colors if you like that sort of thing. The only thing is, is raise your hand right now. I'm looking at all you guys. Raise your hand if you could carry a bottle of oil in one of your pockets and, and holding a lamp in the other hand. And when the lamp runs out of oil, take that bottle out and refill your lamp. Raise your hand if you can do that. Because for some reason, our characters can't do that. We have to actually take this thing into the smithy and have it, um, have it repaired in the smithy to be able to refill the oil. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Anyway, I've been doing some work on the ship I've been doing a whole bunch of gathering and stuff like that. Let me show you what I've done. First of all, I've put a water barrel on here. Remember last episode I told you guys that I wanted to get into the barrels? Here's the barrel. You hit E on it, it opens up, it, gather, it gathers rain. You hit E again, it, close the, it closes the lid. It's supposed to close the lid. It's not closing the lid. Close the lid. There we go. And if you hold E, you can drink directly from it. Or, uh, oh, access inventory. And you can also put... Your jugs and stuff in there to fill it up through there so it's really really cool and it's really really good for sailing basically you actually where why doesn't it say drink is it because i'm full on water i don't know i don't think so i put a bed in here uh i've been sailing around and getting levels it's level 20 now for our our ramshackle sloop and i've been putting some into additional weight to get it up to 2000 so it'll go faster um and then additional crew i've put one into that so we can get an additional crew honestly i'm probably going to scuttle this thing uh yeah because it's not gonna be very good compared to the one that we're getting into um access inventory i've just got the basics a little bit of food a little bit of water a little bit of repair stuff some water buckets stuff like that okay moving on there's a whole bunch of stuff that i want to get into today so we need to start that real quick uh, and I think there's a scorpion around here somewhere that was trying to chase me and eat my face, but I don't know where he went. I've started a bunch of fires up there so we can get a bunch of coal. We need coal so we can make gunpowder. Um, I don't think I have anything in here other than coal. Okay, so we've got quite a bit going on. Now, as you can see, I've gone ahead and I've placed a bunch of storage units down here. And I've placed a bunch of different stairs and stuff over here. I've been looking into getting a house. This is one of the one of the things that I want to do in this episode is start a layout for a house because that is too small and I'm having problems actually storing stuff. Now I need to start on a house. On top of that, I want to start a schooner today our very own schooner so we're gonna have to build a shipyard and stuff like that so let me show you what else i've been doing i have got a smithy full of gathering stuff holy crap as you can see i put a whole bunch of barrels out there so we can get a whole bunch of water here is the smithy this smithy is full of stone flint metal bone hide you name it fur everything and i've been out getting blueprints and stuff like that just by getting the flotsam that's in the ocean uh probably not going to be using any of them to be honest with you they're not really great and here's the problem with them you see how that says fibers at the top but it says two by two times ten so there's two different types of fibers that i need for it and i need ten each so i have to go out and find two different styles of fiber and then two different styles of stone two different styles of thatch it's kind of just a pain in the butt for a single upgrade into something so i probably won't be getting into that hello mr elephant how are you doing these guys are annoying because they knock down your pretty trees anyway let me tell you 
what else I've done? I put a second um, storage in here. I've been using the flint because I get a ton of flint, and I've been using it to make arrows. I've been getting maps from inside the water. Uh, each of these qualities are different and stuff like that. I actually tried to solo one of these maps. We'll talk about that another day uh, because it was, yeah, I might actually do a tutorial on how to do it. And then I've made some extra stuff, extra food, and also got some coins from the flotsam floating around on the ocean. And let's start on the house. Let me tell you what I want to do on the house. First of all, I've been putting this stuff up. This is a thatch foundation. This is a this is a wood ceiling. Okay. I've been kind of putting this stuff out, trying to look. I'm I'm looking for that scorpion. I don't know where he is. He probably went in the fire. The animals have a tendency to kill themselves in the fire. I've been looking at stairs and how everything lays out easily and stuff like that. I don't know what it is with wildcard or grape games or whatever you want to call them now. For some reason, they just don't know how to make a wood floor look decent. If I, I don't think you can, if I turn this off, it looks like, it just looks, looks like drift logs. I mean, why is it so hard to put the, the blanks together, put a little sanding to them and put some finish on them, make them a little bit darker brown. I guess I could paint them, but I just don't like the way they look. I do, however, like the, do, however, like the thatch. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to make everything out, not everything, but the floor out of thatch. I like that bamboo kind of look to it. And what I want to do is I want to do a tiki hut mansion. Now, you guys know tiki huts are just small huts that are on the side of a beach, right? So tiki hut mansion isn't huge, but it's going to be a lot bigger. So here's what I was planning on doing. I'm going to use the thatch for the floor and I'm going to use foundations. Now, the cool thing about the foundations is the foundations are only half as high as they used to be on like arc. So you, to get a full foundation, you need to stack two of them. But the really cool thing is, is once you stack two, you can stack the next one over and it'll extend all the way down to the ground. I think that's totally awesome. I think we could probably see well enough. I can turn that yellow light off. I need to paint it like a white color or something. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a landing come out. I'm going to have half steps come down. I'm going to have a landing come out and I'm going to have stairs coming off of the side. That'll be kind of a nice little entrance. Then this whole thing in the center is going to be thatch flooring. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is... Just having it a square. Don't worry, it's not going to stay just a square, it, but it's going to start out a square. What I've done is on the skills, I've gone through and I've gotten all of the crafting stations and all of the shipbuilding stuff for our episode today. So what I've also done is I've gone in, uh, which one is it? Was it in this one? I've put in wood, thatch, and fiber so we can start building the house. And as you can see, I've made like four or five of all of the crafting stations. The smithy, the loom, the cook, uh, the, the grill, and the forge. Okay? So I need to start expanding out because this is just not working. And I can't wait any longer. Oh, look. We got somebody sailing by. Looks like they're in a purchased schooner or sloop. I can't see who it is. This These um, spy glasses are horrible, to be completely honest with you. They really are. They need to fix them. They've never had good spy glasses in this game or arc. Uh, okay, so I've also started making a common metal pick. So I've, made, I've gotten into metal. Okay, so I've gotten into the metal hatchet and stuff like that. And I've made, I've taken under the skills, I've taken piracy. Now, piracy is really good because you can make a grappling hook and this grappling hook allows you to get flotsam and jessam out of the water from your ship without actually getting in the water and getting eaten by sharks and you can use it to pull yourself up yay and climb stuff and and and, and stuff and i don't actually know how to let go okay so i've done that and then i've also done a regular climbing pick as well just in case you know we need to really i can't see what that there we go. Just in case we need to actually get away from something and I have to go up the side of rocks. I've completely forgotten how to use those that stuff. So that's what I've gotten into. I'm going to make a full thatch floor. I'm going to make it square. Off to the left side here, I'm going to make a smithy or uh, I should say a smelting area. That's probably getting annoying at the top. So I'm going to go a little bit more weight just so I can carry more. On top of that, I've also thought, well, you know what? If I can stop myself from leveling, I can probably save some of my some of my respects. Yeah, it doesn't work. You just end up going over your experience anyway. So you still level. I don't know. I guess for some people it's good. 
for other people it's not for me wanting to save my respects it's not really good so anyway as i was saying i'm going to do a smelting area on the left hand side and then out of the back i'm going to leave two wide open doors and then i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to lay it out so it's in a library i'm going to use storage units the big ones like that to make them look like bookshelves and i'm going to line them up in three rows one here one over here one over here and they're going to have rows down the center and at the back end i'm going to try and build something that's similar to like a, a reading area in like barnes and noble or you know some type of a library or something like that they don't have a lot of decorations in the game yet, so I might end up having to finish that later. But that's kind of what I was going to do. And then on the second level, I was going to make a, a true tiki hat. It'll be three wall sided. The front will be completely open. Then there will be a deck that you can walk out on. And I think that'll be totally awesome. Now, I haven't decided yet on what I'm going to do for like a kitchen or a cooking area. I'm thinking either I'm going to do another square or something out, out this side so I can actually be on the bottom floor. Or I might end up just making... Ooh, it's raining. I need a drink of water. Okay, and then I'm thinking maybe I'll just like off the back of the Tiki Hut top second half floor thing i was thinking about doing maybe a cooking area up there i haven't decided yet i probably won't get to that um but we're going to start laying that out and i'm just going to use all of the crafting stations in there to kind of help me lay it out i'm not going to finish it today but we will get it started and then like i said before we're going to get into a schooner i'm talking for a long time i'm sorry but we have to build a small um shipyard and then we're going to start getting into the schooner so i'm going to start working on the house and i'm going to be right back you want to go come on step up brad come on brad let's go i know who you are i know you're the punk of this place i knew you were around here somewhere dude yeah level 29 this is actually a pretty big scorpion here let me show you guys what i do to scorpions come here brad Get him almost dead. This is what we do to boys. Look at this pig. This this is how dumb the pigs are here. He went and killed himself on the fire. And that's what Brad's about to do. Come on, Brad. Come on, Brad. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Cooking that meat, baby. Cooking that meat. Okay. So we're back. I'm having problems. Uh, the first thing is, is I don't like the way the foundations work. You see, if I go like this, see, this is a foundation down below, right? If I put this foundation up here, that'll work. But the next foundation over won't, it won't like extend down to the ground like that. I don't know what it is about great games or wild card that they just didn't take the hint from, uh, from S plus. I just, why? I mean, the building is pretty, actually pretty nice in the game. It's not bad. But when they do stuff like this, like, I mean, I had to go around and use bottom foundations on all, all underneath all the thatch just because this is fine. I don't mind this. But when you do that, look what it does. It makes a different pattern. See that? So instead of making the pattern all the same, it makes a different pattern. It makes things look funky monkey. Okay, so what I'm also doing is this is kind of just the layout as it's going to be right here. And like I said, I'm going to probably stick. Um, let's see, we're probably going to do. We're going to need a smithy. And then we're going to need. Uh, we're going to need a loom. So these are just kind of the big things that. Why did I? I didn't mean to take all of those. I just want one. There we go. Okay, so like the loom's probably the biggest. Look at this monstrosity. Now, I was thinking about placing the forge on the ground, but I don't think you can actually place it directly on sand, which is unfortunate because that would be very cool. So I was thinking about doing something like this, but the loom is massive. I mean, this thing's a monster. So I'm going to have to give us a lot of space, and that's all I'm going to do is just place stuff in like this and just start making it bigger and bigger until it fits everything. On top of that, with these stairs, I can't decide. I'm thinking about maybe doing a small little landing right here or possibly extending it out by one ceiling. Uh, let's see. We send it out by one ceiling on both sides. And then we put stairs. Now, the stairs are actually funny because there's two types of stairs. If you do stairs, you've got this type, which is 
it has a landing on it, but it's skinny. This is actually one of those stairs right there. That's how I was able to get it there. And it didn't extend all the way to the end of the ceiling. On top of that, I can't put half stairs coming down from foundations from like up here. I can't put half stairs down. So I had to put ceilings right there, which looks ridiculous. So I'll probably have to put a thatch wall or something to cover that in there. But I think what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to come down like this. And then I'm just going to put a full half stairs maybe right there. But I wanted this little landing out here just to make it kind of cool looking. I'll put a little bit of a wall right there. But this is just the basic layout of it. And then what I'm going to have to do is this is an uh, this is an odd number. So I'm going to have to put another row of thatch. And then I'm going to have to make a double door. Eventually, they'll probably get double doors in the game. So I'll put double doors out here. And then extended out here will be the library. So I kind of just wanted to bring you guys back and, look, and show you kind of the basic of how it's going and what it's starting to look like. A little bit frustrating, but we'll get there. All right, Jeremy. What did I tell you about coming after me? When I'm in the middle of building, what is it with this freaking island? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to pass out here in a second. You're dead, man. God, Jeremy, get out of the way. Okay, so some things have gone on, some things have happened, some good, some bad. Um, wasted one of my smithies. Yeah, that sucked. Uh, but basically, what it is is what I've done is I've made uh, made some progress. I think. Let me, let me put a pillar. I'm going to put a pillar right there and see how that looks. Okay, so here is the smithery, I guess you could call it. The Now, this is what's funny, is it wouldn't let me put... See, it won't let me attach stairs. These are You have to use the roof to get stairs, which is weird. But it won't let... Oh, now it will. So I'm going to have to demolish, oh geez, whatever. Okay, so this is the smithery. I'm not sure exactly how, I, I kind of wanted to do the forge sideways like this, but well, I tried it straight, but it looked funky. But I thought, well, this forge is freaking huge. So I'll just put it outside, but I want a covered area. I definitely want this to look like a smithy. I think it looks like a smithy. I'm going to probably close it off a little bit with some walls and stuff like that. Um, I've decided to go with half walls on this side over here just so I can make the ceiling lower because you kind of picture smithies as, you know, the, the lower ceilings. Yeah, so it's nice and tight and hot in there. Um, and then on the sides, we're going to do uh, much higher ones. I'm going to start the library back here. As you can see, I've got two double doors over there. Um, got the forge out. I've got this here, which I think you guys need to tell me what you think is better. Uh, let me go ahead and make a wall real quick. And then I was thinking either... I got another ceiling panel. Can I use this somewhere? Uh... I don't know if I want that there. Uh, I need you guys to tell me railing or half wall for this right here. And it, the building for this is nice because you can just sit here and t hit T. You don't have to sit there and, 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 and use all of your points for skills like, oh, I need railings and now I need stairs and use all your points. You get one point or two points into a skill and boom, you've got all of the stuff for it. You've got the stairs, you've got the, you know, you've got the foundations and everything. So you guys let me know what, how, what you think is better. The white wall, which is a wooden wall, or the railing. Because I'm 50-50 on it. I'll let you guys decide. Um, on top of that, I decided to change out no thatch walls. We're going to change out to wood so it's nice and white on the outside. The inside looks like crap. I don't like the way it looks, but... On the outside, it looks a lot better. Uh, and the thatch, honestly, guys, it's this crisscross checkered pattern that I think would make me go absolutely insane. So that's really all I'm going to work on with that. However, we're going to start working on a schooner. Now, I want to make a super freaking fast schooner. Super freaking fast. I might make it have some, some guns and stuff. But what we need is we need a small... You need a small shipyard to be able to do that. I've already opened all of the stuff up. Um, so let's go ahead and put some of this stuff back because we don't need it. Oh, I was going to drop the tannery in there too. Are we done? Yeah. Wait, what? Okay. I need to empty out my inventory. 
I also believe I need to get the nightmare out of the way. Uh, but I want to go ahead and put our small shipyard like right here. Now here's the thing. You see those buoys out there? Let me see if I can get eight. You see those buoys out there? I have built a line of buoys right there, which shows me where rocks are. Then the booty barnacles over there have built those buoys right there because yet again, as you can see, there's rocks out there and you can scuttle your ship. They built a lot of freaking buoys, man. So what I want to do is I want to line up our small shipyard. Where is it? With those buoys because you have to split those buoys to be able to sail outside. So I was thinking, eh, what I'll go ahead and do is just do something kind of like this and then something like this. And then I have to kind of move things over if we're going to, you know, if we're going to line it up almost straight because I want to be able to get out fairly easily. I don't want to be dorking around with having to turn real hard, real sharp when we get out there. All right, it's in, baby. Heck yeah. We have got a small... Look how close that was. I didn't even move the nightmare. We got a small shipyard. Now, if we look at it and we press F, we've got the schooner and we've got the sloop. We already own a sloop. We need to make the schooner. However, what I'm also going to do is I made extra smithies and stuff. So I think I'm going to try and put some storage up here, a tannery to make sails, as well as a smithy to make stuff. Um... And that way we can have a whole bunch of really cool stuff up here. And we don't have to keep running back down. And anytime we build ships and stuff, we can move all our stuff in there and build the ships a lot easier by taking stuff out of there. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'll be right back. All right. So to be completely honest with you, I should have used all the materials I used on the house for the boat. I didn't realize there was going to be so many bloody materials for the boat. Holy crap. It was redonkulous. Okay, so first thing I've done, I built a giant freaking sail. Why? Because it's the fastest sail in the game. And the more sails you have, I should say the more canvas you have, the more speed you have. Now, I'm thinking about doing a small speed sail. I want this schooner to be faster than a red-headed stepchild coming out of hell. So I'm thinking about doing a small speed sail. However, I'm also going to do some cannons and stuff like that. I haven't been able to build any cannons because I've ran out of materials, to be completely honest with you. I've done what I can. We'll see what we can do. But I've ran out of materials, so we're not going to get it done today. But I need to decide. What the hell was that? What was that? Okay. So I need to decide. Oh, it was my, oh, was my lantern breaking. I need to decide depending on how much weight we have on it, if I want to do a small weight cell, which will add like 400 weight to my ship, 400 weight capability, meaning it doesn't add on 400 weight, it allows my ship to have 400 more weight. Or if I want a small speed cell, I'm going to aim for a small speed cell just so we can be much faster, but I want this thing to be fast as hell. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I went ahead and crafted a bunch of stuff. I put all the rest of the stuff that we have left in here, holy crap, I don't have a lot of stuff left, to be completely honest with you. So the first thing we need to do, to do is we need to start building the frame. Schooner. Schooner. Double click. All right, so we got our frame going. Now, I really should start building from the ground up, but I don't want to do that because I just don't do things conventionally. So I've only built five gun ports. Now, these gun ports... We'll go down the side here. So we'll go, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. A total of ten, so five on the other side too. Obviously not going to be able to do that because I haven't made that much. Um, I can put the planks on the front and stuff like that. I really should start building from the ground up, but whatever. And I'm going to hold off on the planks on the back because the better idea is to not put the planks on the back. That way you can build a, uh, a cabin in the back and you won't have to worry about the planks getting in the way saying, oh, your ceiling's obstructing. You can't place that there. So we're going to forget about that right now. Next one thing I'm going to do is we need to put in a 
a ah there's a ladder right here good okay no i want down q okay so we're gonna put in the lower deck now i was thinking about leaving the lower deck out just so we could save on weight but there's some stuff i would like to put like storage and stuff on top of that we can go ahead and do the secondary um what is this thing called uh uh, uh holy crap i went completely blank deck can't tee it can't cue it it's in there i don't know why they do this it's kind of crazy because this really ain't a deck <laughs> there's nothing here <laughs> i mean there is nothing there uh so you gotta fill it in yourself and it takes a whole bunch of freaking ceilings however we're not going to fill it all the way in what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to start off by filling now I just said to hi to that guy too. He lost. He's looking for his monkey. Yes, I mean monkey. Um, and he scared me because he came around the corner thinking that I was a treasure map bottle. And I thought he was a monster. Scared to piss out of me. I had to change my shorts afterwards. It was crazy. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to build the deck. And I'm kind of just going to show you how I'm going to do this. We're not going to build the whole thing. I, like I said, I kind of wanted to build the most important stuff. Wait, what did I do? One, two, three. Pick that one. No, pick it up. 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 Oh, wait. I can get out, right? I'm going to end up falling through the freaking... There we go. There we go. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right. So let's go. We just need to put an extra one over here. Right there. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put stairs in there. Now, this is going to be a little bit different. Um, I don't, I haven't really seen a lot of people do this. I've seen a couple people do it, and I kind of just got the idea, and I was like, cool. Uh, but that is not where that needs to go. It needs to go over here. Okay, so now I'm going to use a roof. So you got this here. If I put that there, it's going to be bad. If I put that there, that's going to be good because you can walk up and down stairs. On top of that, we can put this in here, and I'm going to switch over to full stairs, which should get us down and get us back up. Excellent. Awesome. Totally excited about that. Okay, now we're going to switch back over to roof, and unfortunately, I need another ceiling. I'm dehydrated. Okay, so my maths were right. I did have enough ceilings. I just got in too much of a hurry and didn't put stuff in the right place. I actually had to move that square that was up there. I had to move that back. That's it. And then I had to move that roof back, which by the time I realized that, I couldn't pick it up because, well, why would you be able to? And I need to go ahead and redo my stairs in here. Now, that looks kind of ugly because it does stick out a little bit. However, when you put the planks on, the planks cover that up actually really well. So don't worry about that if you decide to do it this way. It's up to you. I really like the style because it makes it easy to get up to the wheel. So I'm going to... Oh, no. Wait, I can I can, I can, can do this. I can do this. Uh, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You only got a certain amount of time before you can pick stuff up. And it's kind of a... Okay, do I want that there? Do I don't know. Do I want that there? I, I have no idea. Oh, crap. I got to pick it up if I don't know if I want it there or not. Okay, so we're going to go down and we're going to go down to, 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 to doorway and click that in there. And I think I need one more roof to be able to do an actual door. Okay, so we're going to put a door down there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting ceilings up here. And what that's going to do is that's going to give me a place where I can actually drive off of. Uh, so I can put the, the, the wheel up here and then, oh my gosh, she's just doing all this breathing because she's so freaking hot here. Look, cool down, cool down, calm down. There you go. Turning me on with that breathing stuff, man. Holy crap. Totally kidding guys. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. So. I should have made more sweet ceilings because I really wanted to actually put the sail, the big sail on it too. See, these 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 ships can have multiple types of sails. You can have four sails, four small sails. You can have one small sail and or two, one small sail and two medium sails, or I think or one large sail. 
I think it's one large sale, one small speed sale, and that's what we're going to do. So there's multiple ways that you can put different sales in. Um, so we're going to do one large sell and one small speed sell if we have the weight. If we don't have the weight and we need more, then I'll put a weight sell, a small weight sell on it. That should give us a couple hundred to like 400 more, more weight on it. Okay, so now we need to go in here. And we what we can do is we go right here and we hit T until it goes down into... I need a door. It wasn't a roof. I needed... No, I need... Okay, I need a door. Uh, okay, do we want a wood door? Or we want a thatch door. We want a wood door because it's going to look really cool like that. So let's get, go ahead and get that going. And then, can I do any more ceilings? Yeah, let's do two more ceilings. Okay, so that'll put a sideways door. Look how cool that looks. Doesn't that look cool? And then this will be, this will be kind of our our back cabin right here we'll put a few things back in here and then we can access the bottom of the ship up here it'll be locked and it'll be the only way that we can actually get down so you don't have to worry about people getting on the boat when we don't want them on the boat and then like i said we'll put the steering wheel and stuff up here and see how that works i i'm really wanting to get a crew together i'll only need two people on the crew at first and then once we start getting cannons we'll be able to put those guys in there so Let's see, let's go ahead and put a couple more ceilings. And I think what I can do is I was thinking about doing this. Let's see. If I can go, I think I've got more wood planks. So let's go ahead and put some more wood planks on here. You got one? Really? Really? Okay, so there's the side and the back wood planks. Uh, let's go ahead and put one up front here. Yeah, there we go. So that'll finish almost one side of it. It looks cool. I like it. And then let's go ahead and put the, sh the, sh the shale on. There's the shale right there. So we'll go ahead and hit that. And then I think we can just go ahead and throw that right there. Because what I want to do is I want to leave enough room to be able to put the front sail, the small sail up there. We want the big sail in the back here. We need plenty of room, and then I can either do two things. I can, one, put the steering wheel right here. That way, until we get a crew, we can steer from here, and we can go ahead and open up our uh, our sails and rotate them um, as much as possible from there, which will be a lot easier. But look at that freaking sail, man. That thing is massive. Now that's what she said. Okay, so let's go ahead, and I think... Let's see, I do have everything used up, right? We could do decks, but that we don't need any more decks. Okay, so we can use this. Nope, I need to press T. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... Oh, crap. Is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put the steering wheel right here. That way... Wow, look at that. You can actually clip into it a little bit. That way, it looks kind of funny at first. But what we can do is we'll put... We'll be able to get in here, and then we'll be able to get out, and then go up here, and then rotate the sail. And then go back into the steering wheel, and then rotate the sail. So that'll work out really, really well. I think that'll be awesome. But we need to finish the other side. I need to finish all the ceiling pieces. I am going to be working on this off camera okay so that way you guys don't have to see me build the entire thing but that's basically really all it is that i'm doing um so i am going to work on it off camera just warning you when you come back we'll probably have you know more stuff done on it on top of that we got this done which i'm super happy you guys need to leave in the comments if you like the white wall the white half wall better which i'm kind of leaning towards or the railings. Yes, I do know that you can put railings up the stairs. For some reason, I'm having problems with that. I'm going to fix that opening under there. And I'm probably off camera going to finish at least this bottom level right here. That way we have a bunch of stuff done. I have to do a bunch more gathering. I literally used everything I had. I mean, check this out. No resources. No resources, probably like a little bit of fiber in there. I used pretty much everything I had. So we got a lot done today. I'm super excited about the schooner. I need to figure out a name for it. It'll probably just be the Nightmare 2. Um, 
I can't think of anything else or the nightmare skid stain or something like that. Anyway, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, don't hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, subscribe. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out, guys. I really appreciate it. Keep gaming. Keep doing it, man. I have a blast. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. And bye-bye.